Today I have for you two Hermes unboxings, one brand new from the store and one pre-loved from the real real. I don't usually shop at Hermes, so what did I get? Stay tuned to find out. <laughs> Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget, from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos, and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. Let's start with what's in this box, which is actually a reveal, not a true unboxing, because I've already opened it and looked at it, and I can tell you I'm a little bit disappointed by this one. This is a Twilly, and Close Up Autumn is gonna come visit you so you can see this in more detail. Well, first of all, here's the whole thing lengthwise, and then here it is closer up so you can see it a little bit better. That purple part there under my chin is the center of the scarf. Here's the other side. You can kind of see it's got birds on it. The other side is a very similar pattern, all part of the same design, obviously. Sometimes they're two-sided scarves that are different designs. What I'm disappointed with is the colors a bit because I feel like in the photos that were on the listing on the Real Real, it seemed like there were more colors in it. Like, I feel like it's missing greens and blues, but it must just be my imagination because surely those are photos of the scarf that I'm holding here, so. I don't know. There's nothing wrong with the scarf itself. It has some wrinkles in it, so obviously somebody has had it tied. It does still have the little care tag on it. It says, made in France, 100% silk, dry clean only. It says Hermes right there. And as is sometimes the case with Hermes scarves, there is a larger version, a big square version of this scarf. I don't remember the name of this scarf, but the colors are very vibrant. That is something that Hermes is excellent at. I tell you what, if you want to start with Hermes and whether you're on the handbag journey or not, I'm certainly not, a fantastic and more affordable option at Hermes is to start exploring their scarves. I've recently gotten into that and it is just a deep, vast, wide hole of information and designs and history and artistry and all kinds of things. So if you're interested in getting into that, I'm going to recommend a channel to you that was recommended to me by Jill Maurer. And that channel all about Hermes scarves is called Cranley Place. I've been watching some of her videos. I'm learning a lot and I'm having a lot of fun with it. And of course, let's not forget, I have an unboxing from Hermes, brand new from the store that I just got. Inside the bag, we have this box. And I'm very excited about this one because I didn't know that this colorway was available until I saw it in the store. I don't know enough about Hermes and their inventory to tell you whether this is a new design. I think it's been around for a while and it keeps getting reincarnated, but this does seem to be a new colorway. So the magic orange box, we shall untie, pull off the ribbon, open the lid, and let's see, how's this tissue paper done? It's folded over two times. And we reveal, I pick it up by the corner and do a dramatic reveal. How about this? Aha, that was quite dramatic, yes? Oh, and it even came up right side up. So this is, here's the name of it, Pianteur Fresh. I have no idea how to pronounce French. I believe that means fresh paint. You can see it's the Hermes logo. It has the H down on the bottom and the horse and carriage and driver guy, whoever that guy is. I don't, I don't know. And it's in this fabulous green paint splatter on this fabulous lavender background. And I have to bring this up so you can see some details. And by the way, this is a 45 by 45 centimeter scarf. On the website, this is in the women section. I wish they just had a scarf section and didn't divide it by gender, because that doesn't make a lot of sense to me. Okay, I'm coming up closer. Anyway, it was in the women's section on the website, but in the store it was in the men's section, as if it was a pocket scarf or bandana or something. But here is the full design, so you can see that a little bit closer. And I was really drawn to the paint splatter because I'm a painter, or at least I used to paint. I haven't done it in a long time. So I thought, I really need that. Also, loved the colorway and, you know, the green especially. And then I've gotten into lavender some lately. There's the name of the scarf. And then over on the opposite corner, it says Hermes Paris. And there's some of the detail in it. 
It's not a super bright green. It's a bit muted and the same with the lavender. Of course, lavender is already muted, but I think it's coming across pretty well on the screen. I think the colors are pretty accurate. And this is 100% silk. Oh, forgot to show you one very important detail. I'm gonna cover my face so it'll focus on the scarf. The hand rolled edge here, instead of just being lavender, it has these darker purple and white stripes. That is a special thing on an Hermes scarf. Now I won't go into 100 ways to style this scarf, but I will show you just a couple to give you an idea of how I might style this. Not with clothes, I'm not I'm not changing clothes, I'm not going through the trouble of that right now, but I can show it to you in a couple different bags and how I might wear it on myself or on a bag. So first of all, I think to me the most obvious thing is always a square scarf in half to make the triangle and then to just wrap it around your neck, give it a little tie in the back and wear it on the front like a little bandana or turn it to the side a bit, probably like that a little better. You can also roll it up like this. You've still got the tags on it, so it's a little weird. Tie it around your neck this way as if you're trying to cut off circulation to a sliced artery, or put it to the side a little bit if you want to look more like a flight attendant. And I just did a really poor job of this because I'm trying to do it quickly, but you could tie it around your wrist as a little bracelet. I think in the Hermes photographs that always looks really cute, but I think when I've tried to do it before, it looks again like a bandage around my wrist. Not the best look, maybe. You could also possibly tie it up in your hair, like a little ponytail thing. And let me show you how it looks on a couple of bags. Here's how it looks against Louis Vuitton monogram. Louis Vuitton Damier Ben. I think that looks better than the monogram. Cause you know what they say about a Ben? It's like chocolate. And this looks like some kind of really nice ice cream that you've got with the chocolate. It's like a little sundae. I don't know what ice cream is purple. Pistachio ice cream with chocolate like mint chocolate chip or something, I don't know. I thought it would look great on my Teddy Blake bag here, so I'm gonna just tie that on so we can see it actually tied onto a bag and not just held up to one. That is super cute. The green of the bag goes great with the green on the scarf. I love the little pop of purple. Pop of purple. My bag of the day is this Longchamp Le Pliage Extra Small in nylon, the color taupe. And that also looks fabulous. Everything looks good with a nice neutral taupe. That's really pretty. Kind of like it more like that better where I can see the bag a little more. Oh, I like that a lot. It also looks rather nice on my large Le Pliage tote in cactus green. That's probably better proportionally to have it on a big bag like that, that looks good. Very summery, this lavender and green, they're very seasonal colors. You see them a lot together right now. Here's how the colors look with a fuchsia bag, and here's how they look with a yellow bag. I like that better than the fuchsia. And it even goes well with my Louis Vuitton pastel scrunchie. Those look great together. So I could wear this on my hair, wear this on my bag, and I've got an outfit. This was a little bit, the colorway anyway, was a little bit of an impulse purchase, but it was one that I figured I shouldn't pass up. It was something I thought I would regret if I did try to pass it up. So I did not pass it up. I grabbed it. At the time of filming this, it's not available on the website. I'm not sure if it was and it sold out or if it will be and it got to the store first or if it'll pop back up if it was already there. I don't know how these things work yet. I just knew it had to come home with me. And I'm very happy to have it. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope you enjoyed. Hope maybe you learned a thing or two and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.